What's good, everybody? It's the one on the Punish Night Gaming. Coming back to you again, but this is my Overwatch. The one I'm more familiar with. Been playing this off and on since 2016. We'll turn to subscribers here. I know what it is. We're gonna focus on real quick, and this gameplay is gonna be me playing a support character called Jedos. And I'm gonna show you how I play a healer character. And I feel healer characters function better in this game than they do in Overwatch. Because healer characters over there kind of just feel out of place in a, in a sense. Because they, it's harder to really get a feel of the attack and the defense side. They more so just like characters that should just be like, you know, out of range of the enemies and more closer to where their teammates are. Here, you can play both sides, attacking and defending, depending on how you set up your cards while your loadout. You'll see what a loadout is shortly. But the character, I want to highlight a little bit of Lee, I've called him Lee on here, but his name is actually Lex, and he's a flank character. He's my favorite flank character, and I will be making a video about him the next time I post something about Paladins. And here, that's different than Overwatch, is that with these loadouts right here, and then you can pick and choose which, how much power or you know numbers that pretty much amplify those particular cards and here are the buffs you can use to uh, increase either your ability to heal while not in fighting you can be able to reload faster you'll be able to um take less damage from aoe's or Different little things like that. There are different elements like that really set this apart from being just like an just a typical Overwatch clone. And the way that the characters are laid out, the way that they talk and like function, is just overall, in my opinion, a far more fleshed out game than Overwatch's, in my opinion. So it's like they came rough out around this, roughly the same time, but. This one had to be delayed, which benefited it in the long run, but unfortunately they don't really update it the way they need to. That's the thing that pisses me off about this game. It doesn't get as much updates as it should. Because it's a popular game. Maybe it's not as, like, you know, owned by Blizzard, but it's still a popular game for those. And uh, those light in the ass characters are just really annoying. Like that little chick right there, her name is Maeve. Those characters are flanks. Like the one I mentioned earlier, Lex. Basically, that's a like. Flanks are, as their name says, but I'll give you a little bit more understanding of it. They're basically, as I'm going to start calling them lightning ass characters, they're very high mobility, moderate good damage but they're squishy so like that sky that a pretty elf looking chick that being pink and black she's the best um, flank in the game very high damage mobility through the roof and she's a she's a fucking troll character basically because like once you see her on the map you already if the person that's playing her is good Oh yeah, she can squad wipe it real easy. And that's not with, without even having to use her ultimate. And plus, if you if she uses her ultimate, and you'll see at the end of this particular match, well, this round, I should say, it's pretty much guaranteed GG's for that round if they are in, if they play time it right, it's pretty much GG's. But, the round already ended, so for my team to win that particular round. Oof! Pressure! Get fucked, Sky. Get fucked. Come on, go kill her ass. 
I'll push it in. What the fuck? See? See how she can just pop out of fucking nowhere? And be so goddamn nimble and just putting the amount, this crazy amount of pressure on me because, of course, my teammates are not protecting the fucking healer. They want me to heal them, but they don't want to protect me. Like, yeah, that's yeah. conflict of interest. God damn, see? You see what I mean? But watch this. My friends gonna come close to me and start po prodding me. I guess. Pause. But I'm like, I'm healing y'all. Y'all not protecting me. I didn't want to get on the mic and start saying shit. See, look. These two, they want me to heal them. It's either they want me to heal them or they're saying hi. Because, I don't know, Overwatch and here, motherfuckers be coming up to you and teabagging or constantly wait, saying hi to you. And I'm just like, man, can, can you go fuck off? <laughs> just let me focus on what I'm doing. If I wanted to be a chatty patty, I'd be on the mic or something. I'm not that. I'm not really that type of person, especially when it comes to these types of games. I like to bitch and moan and scream at you when the mic is off. <laughs> it's, it's just funnier that way. Get fucked, Kofi. And uh, what is his name? Flamingo or some some goofy. But. You see that big ass dude? Yeah, that's a tank. Those motherfuckers are ruthless, but mm -hmm. I I can't stand big ass slow characters. I can't do it. I, I just I don't know. It just takes me out of it. See, they want me to go heal them, but they on the other side is fucking I'm trying to gatekeep them. But I'm like, bro, if I'm doing this. See, look, this motherfucker out here, let me get shot up, I mean wet the fuck up, and he wants me to heal him? I'm like, bro, I shouldn't even be over here, I should be where Khan is, pushing the goddamn payload. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers want, got their mobility, got the ability to move in and out without much issue. Me, well, I gotta float everywhere in order to get away. And by the time I'm done floating, I'm getting my ass wet up again. So it's just like, I, I pick and choose when I put put myself in danger or not. Well, I can handle it here. Yeah, that won't be a problem. Stupid ass. I mean, she's doing her job as a flank, but I can hear her audible. Like, what she's going to do. And I played this long enough to know what who what character that is so it's just like mm, yeah nah that will never work but it's, it's a pretty cool game if you like hero shooters like one of the I guess you could say more OG ish hero shooters that isn't Overwatch and isn't Marvel Rivals oof <laughs> If he didn't have that damn shield right there, he would have been God. He would have got God. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how I play healer and paladins. A little too fast and loose for my particular interest. And that's one of my favorite characters in the game. Her name is Tyra. One of the first characters I got attached to. She's a damage character. And... She plays very similar, well, I would say an offshoot of Soldier 76, but there was a character literally Soldier 76-ish that named Victor. Pretty much, they're the same, really. Her, she's similar, but she has a bit of bit better abilities, in my opinion. But, anyways, I'll make a video about her later on if this video does well. Hope you guys enjoy this rambling. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm out this bitch.